Hi, my name is Kieran Hostey and I'm the manager of the Maritime Archaeology Program at the Australian National Maritime Museum in Sydney. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our Dunbar collection. Now the Dunbar was a fantastic clipper ship and uh, destined for the Australian gold rushes, built in 1853 and was planned to take passengers out to Australia at the very height of the Australian gold rushes. It made one successful voyage to Sydney in 1854 and in 1857, tragically, on its return voyage to Sydney, it was wrecked at the very entrance to Sydney Harbour, the place now known as Dunbar Head. In front of us are some of the 6,000 objects we have in the Australian National Maritime Museum collection that came from the wreck of the Dunbar. But the items I'd really like to talk to you today about are a gold sovereign and a trout reel. This sovereign is a unique reminder of why the Dunbar was wrecked on the very coast of Australia in 1857. This sovereign is made out of Ballarat gold and was a product of the gold rushes. Now this sovereign was minted at the Sydney Mint. It was the very first colonial mint outside the London Mint. There was about 8,000 of these sovereigns minted and it gives you an indication of how important the gold rushes were to the world economy in the 1850s. How it actually ended up on the Dunbar in 1857 is open to conjecture. What I think's happened is that a wealthy miner was returning to England or Ireland 1855, 1856, took home these brand new Sydney Mint sovereigns and when he got to London, or when they got to London, realised they weren't actually legal tender in, in Europe at the time. They weren't legal tender into the 1860s. So they either gave them to another, a passenger came back to Australia where they were legal tender, or they were returning to Sydney and this, po this coin would have been in their pocket uh, when the wreck occurred in August 1857. Another item, also a personal object, is this trout reel. Now, two of these trout reels are known to have come from the wreck of the Dunbar. Now, the interesting thing about the trout reel is the Dunbar was wrecked in 1857, but there was no trout in Australia, no native trout anyway, in Australia in 1857. Trout, commercial trout, ones that could be caught with a reel like this weren't released in New South Wales until the 1880s. So I'm not quite sure whether the trout reel was a, a very optimistic, a sign of a very optimistic uh, passenger on board the ship, or in fact they didn't know that there's no trout available in Sydney, in Australia, in the 1850s. Quite a lovely, beautiful item, quite expensive at the time, and that's been preserved now in the collection of the National Maritime Museum.